Okay, I'm back. I went ahead and finished my background, um, and I kind of meandered the green mixed with the turquoise around the fish. I kind of balanced it a little bit, which I like, which is kind of fun. You can kind of play for, with it. And then I came back with while it was wet and then daubed it with a napkin and some spots. Some spots I didn't. I liked some of the runs. Now, the nice thing about this, too, I'm... Um, if some of the water, uh, back watercolor gets on your fish, really easy. You can just take your brush with the Yupo and you can just lift it out. You can take a clean brush. And in some of these, if you just want them a little bit wider, look how it lifts. That looks really good. Or if it gets on your fish a little bit, for instance, I might have got a little bit of watercolor on my fish. You can just kind of push on this and it'll come right off. And the nice thing about this is you can come back and introduce, after this is nice and dry, if you want to introduce some darker colors on top of some of the um, colors you can. Same with the orange, but I kind of like how the orange worked out on here. You don't want to, you don't want to overkill on some of these things. Now I'm going to take a little bit of black and I'm going to just very lightly dry brush in an eye. And it's just the idea there's an eye. You don't do much. That's all you do. I kind of did it on here. His eye might be a little bit big, but what I can do, I can come back. Actually, I kind of like that. Leave it alone. You're not going to see this guy's eyes because you're looking down at it. So that looks pretty good. Then I'm going to take my liner, and I've got my cerulean blue and ultra and burnt umber. Heavy on the cerulean blue and heavy on the burnt umber, and I'm just going to, I'm going to show you my fins. After this is nice and dry, just let it sit and let it dry. You can just take your liner brush and if you want to outline it a little bit and give some lines in your fins. Just kind of randomly. Same with up here. I might just do a few. I kind of like how the yellow spilled into the back of this fin. Just very randomly. The idea that you've got some lines in your fin. That looks pretty good. And on this one, i got to watch my hand is running in this. I'm not pressing real hard. Just do that. Do that. Do this guy. Give the illusion that you got some lines. Same with this. Just do, this is all dry, by the way. Just draw some lines in here. Don't need to do them on the little fish because he's so tiny. And again, if you want, to, if that got a little heavy, you can just take a clean brush. I squeeze it with my napkin and just kind of pull some of that off too. That looks pretty good. And then, for instance, on then, if I want to lighten this a little bit, I can just pull so that if a little bit of the watercolor got on this, if I want to have um, light colored fins on there. That looks pretty good. And then you can just kind of come back. I accidentally ran my hand in here. Just come back. You can fix these so easy. Just come back. Get the napkin out. Just do a crinkle. There you go. Easy peasy. So that is how you do a koi. Really easy. Just be loose. And you can they can go in any direction. You could even, if you want to be adventurous, have one of the kois go underneath the koi. And you know, if you get, if your fins are a little too dark, you're like, wow, they're pretty dark. Just take a clean brush, give it a squeeze, and then just very, you could even just lift a little bit. You can lift and take off and put back on, lift, take off, and put back on. This one, if I want my lines to be a little bit skinnier, you can lift. Press a little bit. Same with this one. If you want this a little bit lighter, you can just push, and it just lifts it right off. That's the beauty of Yupo. And then I can always come back and... On this one, I did a better job. Put my lines back in with my liner brush. But that looks 
And this guy, if I want to lighten, you know, the top of this fin that's on his back, I just take a clean, clean brush and just push. The great thing about these guys is they're so abstract and they're so fun. So give it a go. Um, they could be, you could even just do one big fish if you wanted to. Have fun and go paint a koi.